It's hard when everyone and their mom is claiming to be a photographer nowadays. It makes some wonder, how can I stand out from the crowd and not be overlooked just because of lack of experience or having a small portfolio? How can you be chosen out of a sea of photographers? I have been chosen. Well, if you're a beginner photographer and you're just starting out and you're on the fence about starting a photography business, this video is for you. We're going to go over five reasons why it's not too late to be a photographer in 2024 and how you can cash in on your passion. Number one, there is an increased demand for photographers. There is an ever growing demand for photography and photographers needed right now. I know it might be hard to believe. However, the need for visual content continues to rise across various industries, ensuring a steady demand for skilled photographers in 2024 and onward. In fact, by this year in 2024, the global photography market is expected to reach $110 billion. So there is definitely a need for photography and there is money to be made. Number two, the second reason is there is a diverse range of specializations and niches to choose from in photography that still have a need for photos and are in high demand. Niches like real estate photography, aerial or drone photography are on the rise. These are very popular niches in photography and the need for them or the demand for them is only going up. Realtors are always looking for photographers that can photograph their listings and their houses that they are trying to rent out or sell to people. Uh, drone photography goes hand in hand with real estate photography. Then there's obviously wedding photography. People are getting married every single year and there's always a need for a photographer to capture the most important moment of their life. Then you have food photography or restaurant photography. Restaurants and food businesses or chefs are always looking for ways to market their their food and their restaurants and the only way to do that is usually with a photographer then you also have corporate photography for business and professionals entrepreneurs people like that always need new headshots and branding shoots and so forth so that is also a very good photography niche to be in right now there's photography for social media influencers and bloggers etc this one is especially huge for like right now because everyone is trying to be an influencer even photographers themselves many people double also as content creators and are constantly making content every day to post on social media and the only way to really get their message across is through really great visuals photography and video so if you specialize in photography or video you are bound to take the world by storm and to be very needed for people like this who are constantly filming and editing and maybe they would like to outsource that job to someone else they don't have to do it all on their own that way they can just come up with the content come up with the social media posts but don't always have to film everything themselves and then of course you have event photography people are always having events year-round whether it's a corporate event or a family reunion people always want photos or videos of their event like an event recap and just to look back on the event that transpired and it's really hard to take a picture or a video of your own event if you're trying to enjoy the event itself so given all of these different range of photography niches and specializations there is ample opportunities for individuals to find their unique path not all photography is alike so pick a niche niche down and zero in on who your ideal client would be the more focused you are, or the more focused it is, the better. Because the saying goes, if you try to appeal to everyone, you'll appeal to no one. Okay, so number three is online platforms. So obviously, the internet has made marketing so much easier. The internet offers vast platform for photographers to showcase their work, connect with clients, and build a brand, essentially. Social media and online marketplace make it easier to reach a global audience. Back 10 years ago or 15, 20 years ago, you know, you had to only rely on word of mouth. And while word of mouth is not dead, word of mouth alone can be very hard to get a business off the ground. But in the day and age of the internet and social media, it is so much easier to now market and to promote your, and to promote your business online all through having a website, social media accounts, 
and having an email list. And those three things will help you really skyrocket leads and to really get your business off the ground. It is easier than ever before in this time that we're living in right now. Number four is technological advancements. There are ongoing advancements in both camera and technology and post-processing tools that have made it easier for newcomers to learn and produce high quality images, leveling the playing field. So while it used to be so much harder to do certain things in Photoshop and Lightroom, with all the new AI enhancements and having AI integrated in both platforms, it is now so much easier for the beginner or novice photographer to start editing like a professional. And not to, not to mention that there is now AI editors. So you're able to now use stuff. You're able to use plugins like Batch AI that are able to call the photos for you. They're able to color correct for you. They're able to crop the images. By the way, this video is not sponsored, but I'm just saying these tools are already out here. And for the ones who already know how to edit, they're lever leveraging, they are leveraging these tools to help them save time, even though they already know how to do all of this type of editing. But for those who don't know how to edit in the meet, if you are trying to get ahead and yes, I know, I know some of you might say, well, that's cheating, but really it's not. I would still advise you to learn how to properly edit on your own, but if you are really trying to get ahead using both might help you to get ahead on your business so that you can edit less and shoot more. So these technological advancements are making it so much easier for more and more people to become photographers. And as far as at least post-processing, while the learning curve for Photoshop and Lightroom used to be a lot steeper, it's slowly coming down because of these new technological advancements. So now is the time to still learn how to edit, but also use some of these, these new technologies and new uh, programs or plugins to help streamline your post-processing and editing process to be quicker, easier, and just a breeze. So lastly, number five, the last reason why it is not too late to be a photographer is because there are endless opportunities awaiting you within this industry, within this field, just waiting to be taken. The window of opportunity is wide open. And even if you get rejected, don't give up and don't give out because when one door closes, another one always opens. And I know as cliche as that sounds, it is so true. Do not underestimate your value, your worth ethic, and the amount of experience you do or don't have. Wherever you are, start where you are and grow and elevate. We are in 2024, people. You can take your goal and dreams of being a professional photographer and make it a business just by starting. These are the reasons why I would say it is not too late. So get out there, get creative, get shooting. I hope you found this video helpful and encouraging. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you got some value out of this video, definitely be sure to leave me a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are not already. And definitely smash that bell so you get notified every time a new video of mine comes out. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.